My name is uh, Setu Babu and I am a gastroenterologist and interested in liver diseases from the state of Hyderabad. Today we wanted to give you an insight into what is called the fatty liver. In fact, fatty liver is diagnosed very accidentally when you do a master checkup or a general checkup and there starts the problem of understanding what exactly this fatty liver means. Obviously, in a simple way, fat accumulates in the liver and the cause of such accumulation is related to multiple factors. It could be genetic to a great extent. However, the same genetics is also reflected on what is called the metabolic syndrome or a metabolic disease where there is diabetes, there is obesity, there is blood pressure increase, hypertension and also abnormal circulating fats. Now all these things culminate and have a bad effect on the liver. Now what we are worried is when fat accumulates in the liver, over a period of time the fat starts destroying the liver cells and can lead to scarring of the liver what we later call cirrhosis of liver. So one thing very important for us to learn is a simple fatty liver while may not do anything in many people, it can potentially cause a serious or a fatal liver disease and can require even a liver transplant for survival. So today we want to take fatty liver as an important medical problem. Look at assessing the liver problem whether it is to be treated or not to be treated. What do we mean by that? Some fatty livers when they show what is called inflammation in the liver which is judged by the elevated liver inflammatory enzymes called ALT and AST that may be a forerunner for considering these people for treatment. So you have an individual who is slightly obese also has a mild diabetes and has a fatty liver with an elevated liver enzymes, I think that patient needs to be properly evaluated and may be a candidate for treatment. Here we are not saying that every fatty liver is dangerous. Every fatty liver is simple, nothing will happen. So today, if I see a fatty liver, I properly evaluate and look for any impact of the fat on the liver looking at what is called the inflammatory evidence, then these are the people who require treatment. Today, we followed some of those fatty livers or look back, some of those serious liver diseases are actually because of fatty liver to begin with. So, we have an understanding that what we call NASH, that is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, leading to chronic liver disease now is being understood very clearly. To be precise, we have able to conquer hepatitis B and C with the antiviral treatment. We are actually left with large group of alcoholic liver disease where we know the culprit is excess alcohol. But we are looking at a simpler disease which is apparently what is called a fatty liver and that can lead to a major liver disease and we are now looking at avenues to treat these people who have an abnormal liver function associated with fatty liver. Many drugs are coming into the system. We hope that would break the whole cycle and should be able to treat fatty liver in its best way in future. While we talk about fatty liver, we also look at the associated diabetes, the associated obesity, the associated lipid abnormality, which is increasing circulating fats, also for us very important. So the treatment of fatty liver in fact will become a holistic approach where while we treat fatty liver with specific drugs, we also look at other metabolic factors and overall this improves both the quantity of life and quality of life. Future is really bright that we are looking at managing the fatty livers in as simple medicinal way as possible. Thank you very much.